speaking of which, Dave, you actually teased a little drama this season with Tracy. <laughs> what can you tell me about that? Uh, what can I tell you? I mean, look, like, like James had mentioned, the truth is we work in such close proximity to one another. James and I, we ventured out at some point in the season to a different location and we hear something that was maybe said or not said, who knows, I'll let you wait and see, mm -hmm. um, about us. And again, we weren't very happy about it. And I guess it progresses from there, really. <laughs> are you, are all three of you happy, even including Tracy, you think to not be quarantined together? Are you happy to be separate? <laughs> no, <laughs> we, let me, let me just say this. She's, she's no, and I love Tracy. Like a friend, though. Tra Tracy is very, very much a friend and she's awesome and she's cool. This is strictly business, right? This is very, very different from, from how we feel about Tracy. But at the end of the day, we're in a very cutthroat industry and we're gonna stand up for ourselves. She's gonna stand up for herself and business is business. But on a friendship level, no problem. By the way, I'd love to quarantine with her. Have you seen her oh, podcast God. videos? She's looking <laughs> fire right now. I wouldn't mind living with her right now and working out. That's great. Amen to that. Well, speaking of, you know, business being business, we also, we also get to see Frederick Eklund from Million Dollar Listing New York show up this season. James, what's going on there? Swedish rock star. He's decided to move himself to Los Angeles. And, you know, I think for anyone, even Frederick, moving to a new state and trying to set up a business is going to be difficult. And, you know, I think he came here expecting it might have been easier than it was. And then the, the realization hit that it is a cut throat industry. It might not be the same as New York and very different, but we're not just going to let Frederick come in and start taking our listings or, or, or taking our clients. And of course, David and I share Zach Vella, who's a client on the show in New York, and we had a home to sell, and I think Frederick had hoped that he would be brought into the deal and then realized he wasn't. But you know something? We do love Frederick. We welcome him here with open arms, and uh, we look forward to doing more business with him, and we wish him nothing but success. Did you teach him? Did, you, did he teach you the high kick? Have you been working on how to kick up? Oh, very the high, high kick. We yes, actually did that. We ended up kicking each other's feet by mistake at one point. <laughs> that video, it's hysterical. Yeah, you do. It's James very funny. It was a high kick gone wrong, but it was oh, pretty awesome. Oh, no, I got to check that out. Well, I want to ask this. You know, we spoke about it being a buyer's market right now. How good of an idea is it to sort of buy a home? solely based on a virtual tour. How trustworthy are these virtual tours? We've done a lot actually with international buyers specifically that can't make it over for whatever reason. We have sold properties sight unseen before because the truth is if someone's familiar with the location, the square footage is right, the aspects are right. With technology these days, I mean, we're doing an interview right now as though, you know, it's totally normal. And Actually, if you actually, like we do, do virtual tours, virtual floor plans, and do a good enough tour around the neighborhood, around the house itself, you can actually give a bloody good impression. And I think it's, I think it's feasible. Um, you know, I'm curious, though, if there's a difference in the market right now, if you're buying a home from yourself versus an income property, investment property. Is there any change in that for you, or is just buying a home, buying a home? I think you have to buy smart, but like we were discussing earlier with borrowing, borrowing rates being so low, uh, investment properties are great. Dave and I just sold two homes that were brand new construction to investors that were just looking for income. We leased out both of those homes before they even closed escrow. One of them was leased out sight unseen through a FaceTime tour, actually. Um, and, you know, bricks and mortar real estate's always going to to do well so if you're buying and holding and you can sit through and weather through the storm and you don't have toxic debt where you're paying 10 percent a year on your money in the long run you're always going to do very well with real estate so i think as long as you buy right you buy in the right location you're always going to do very well well that's some good news for 2020 dave james thank you so much for chatting with thank me and you. taking the time thank i can't you. wait to see the new season tonight it's going to be good Thank you. Mwah. Take care. Thanks, guys. Guys, don't miss the premiere of Million Dollar Listing LA tonight at 10, 9 central on Bravo.